Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Rise of Empires Ice and Fire video with me, Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, subscriptions, comments. I really, really appreciate it, guys. I think by the point this video goes out, we should be just under 2,000 subscribers, maybe, possibly, hopefully. If we are, yay, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be looking at Season 1 Orange Heroes. So similar to the videos we did last week or the week before um, on base Orange Heroes, we are going to have a look at the Season 1 Orange Heroes. Um, we're going to try and do it in a similar pattern. So first we will look at whether or not uh, they fit the troop types that we particularly want, and that is maybe what I particularly want, not what you particularly want. Uh, we will then look at whether or not what their ranges are like and where they could fit in terms of the 1, 2, 3 pattern in your formation. And then we will look at their skills and see which has the best skills. Hopefully at the end of it we will come up with a three heroes that are absolutely fantastic. Now as always, I've got to say this is my opinion. Yeah, you might play the game differently than I do. What I'm going to tell you is what fits best in the formations I have with the current e heroes I have and what I think is possibly the best heroes. You can disagree with me as much as you like. Please feel free in the comments down below. Um, but give me a reason. Don't just say, no, you're wrong. This one's better. I'm not going to listen to you if you say it like that. <laughs> got to be nice. Got to give me some reasons. But remember, this is about individual people and how they play. Remember also that there are many, many, many levels of people who watch these videos, ranging from Castle Level 5, has just started out, to Castle Level 25, so we've been going forever. Um, so, you know, everybody can take what they want from the video and uh, use it as they see fit. So, we have nine Season 1 heroes spread out here. Um, they are split into the three troop type categories, so there are three of them who are focused on footmen, three of them that are focused on archers, and three of them that are focused on cavalry. I think I got that the right way around. No, I didn't. These three are cavalry, and these three are archers. Um, so we have the judge, and what we're going to do quickly is just have a quick scroll through and have a, have a quick look at them. Um, and you should do this as well. Check them out as often as you can. Now, Season 1 Heroes are available, uh, is it Midpoint, Reign of Chaos? and at the end of Reign of Chaos. Uh, you can purchase them using Season 1 tickets uh, during the Reign of Chaos, Chaos Season 1. You can also buy them with fragments or you could possibly buy them with real money. That's all up to you. Um, now we can see here, that's looking at the judge, uh, Jagahata Khan, I don't know. This guy, as we said, is focused on heroes. He has the standard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight skills. Um, we're not gonna have a look too deeply in his skills. Obviously, as always, first skill, and sixth skill are uh, the ones that increase the amount of legions you have. Sixth skill here also has some extra bonuses, um, but by doing those two first, you'll increase the amount of troops that this guy can lead. Um, then usually what we have is the second skill here, uh, the fifth skill and the eighth skill are the ones that have the ranges on them. And then the other two skills, uh, number three, number four and number seven, are uh, usually a bit more generic okay cool so everybody has a little bit like that and that's pretty much how all of these guys are laid out in these first nine um so if we're gonna go and decide which heroes do we want which heroes do we want for formation we're gonna do this in two separate ways one we're gonna do it the way i want and then we're gonna think about whether or not if you were just having a spread of everybody what are the best heroes now these are not necessarily going to be the best heroes for the end. Remember, we're only looking at what is the best in terms of the troop type at the moment. We're not looking at range, we're not looking at thing. We're gonna try and whittle this all down until we get to a, an eventual point. So the judge here, first off we're gonna look at the cavalry guys because that's who I wanna look at and that's what I like. Our cavalry guys are, what is it? Bulwark, Lionheart and Ebony Knight. So this one, this one and this one. Uh, let's have a quick look at Bulwark. Bulwark. Elizabeth. We'll look at Elizabeth first. <laughs> okay, so we've got the standard 8 here. Let's have a quick look at here. So this one is a 40% chance to deal 150% damage to a single enemy target. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. What do we get up here? A uh, 40% chance to deal 92.5% damage to a random enemy squad within range. All friendly units receive a buff. The 5% bonus cavalry to footmen countering bonus damage. So they can 5% to counter footmen. And it lasts two turns. Okay, so it's a skill that goes over two turns. That's kind of interesting. Um, and here, when heroes leading cavalries, when all squads in the hero's formation are cavalries on the fifth turn, 
Two random friendly squads receive 6% combat skill damage boost for four turns. Okay, that's not bad. So that'll affect all the things if we have only cavalries, which is what I have. So that's an interesting one for me, and that's probably useful for me if I was looking at that. Uh, let's have a quick look along. Back to the other ones. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Uh, Lionheart. Have a quick look in here. Um, okay, so 30% chance to deal 205% damage to a single enemy target. Causes weakened. Minus 20 step damage for one turn. Okay, so but that range is a little bit higher, but we're not looking at that yet. 30% chance to deal 82% damage to three enemy squads in range. Okay, that's interesting. So that's going to hit more things. That's better than Elizabeth had in terms of how many people. She was mostly hitting one. Um, one turn prep, 50% chance to deal 129.5% damage to two enemy squads. Okay, so this guy seems to be able to hit more troops. So here's, here's um, whereas Elizabeth was hitting single uh, troops and single stuff. Um, this guy seems to be hitting, uh, you know, he can do two enemy troops or two units at a time that's interesting so he kind of might be more of our attacking uh cavalry guy and then into ebony knight here let's have a quick look what can you do for the first four turns every turn squad with the least soldiers will receive minus five percent damage also let one random squad have 25 percent chance of getting dodge status okay it's kind of um <coughs> kind of complicated but all right um now this is a 30% chance to deal 213% damage to a random squad within the effective range and reduce the damage taken from footmen by tw minus 12% for two turns. Okay, complicated. When the hero is in a formation with three squads of cavalry starting at the first turn, two random squads will receive 6% combat skill damage for four turns. Okay, so this one again is going to affect some of uh, everybody else if we have three full cavalries in there. Uh, so if everything is cavalry, that's going to be useful for us. Okay, 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 okay. So in terms of the cavalries, I'm going to say that I actually probably like Elizabeth the best. Um, in terms of those three, if we go those three, I'm going to say I like Elizabeth the best. I like it, I think, for the last skill. Um, which was when all squads in the heroes formation are cavalries on the fifth turn two random friendly squads receive six percent combat skill damage which is actually on the fifth turn two round is that not the same as what this guy had let's just double check that sorry blah, 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 blah. it's hard to uh, remember all of these little details it was ebony knight wasn't it and you had when the heroes in formation with three squads of cavalry starting at the first turn Two random squads will receive increased 6% combat for four turns. Okay, so this is actually on the first turn, whereas hers was on the fifth turn? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. All right, all right. So, okay, I'm going to say that for me, out of those three, I like, um, I probably like Ebony Knight the best. Because I like that, that little buff there at the end. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that that's my... That's my guess for me, I think. Have I done this right? Is Lionheart good as well, though? What's, 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 what's with Lionheart? Huh. Now, we have an active skill here. Okay, that's interesting. We're going to look at the skills later. Um, I'm going to say, in terms of basic, you know, leading cavalries, I'm quite happy with Ebony Knight as my guy in terms of just the basic, what I like about their basic skills there um, and stuff like that. Um, then um, I guess if we could do all of that for the footmen and the archers, I'm going to come up with, for me, uh, the... Footmen, <laughs> I'm trying to look at my paperwork here. The footmen, I'm liking Iron Hand. Um, and for the archers, I'm liking Pacer. So just looking through them, just like we did for the cavalries. And I don't need to do that because you guys can uh, read as much as I can. But so basically, we're left with the Pacer, Iron Hand, and Ebony Knight. However, I'm kind of thinking that Lion Heart is better because of that active skill. So then let's, let's have a look at the ranges first. And then uh, we can sort of look at the skills as well. Um, but... 
I want to leave that for another video. So we've basically just kind of had a quick overview of these guys. Um, we've worked out there's three of each of each type, uh, three cavalry, three footmen, and three archers. Um, we've had a quick look at their skills, and uh, some of these skills are quite impressive. Now, it's quite different from uh, the base orange heroes. These guys are going to have a little bit more stuff that's a little bit more technical, um, and a little bit more, you have to pay a tiny bit more attention to how it's going to work back and forth between your... Um, what you have basically um yeah but let's leave that there as a little introduction and then we're going to shoot straight into the next video where we'll actually look a bit more in depth at their range um, and see if we can have a look at their skills as well all right thank you so much catch you very soon in the next one cheers bye